it is about to be 5 30 in the morning like just don't understand why i willingly chose to wake up deep off my face i'm using this ice roller i opened up this pink slush from milani it's an energy drink obviously i'm so exhausted i wanted to show you guys my makeup routine and just literally chit chat with you guys this is going to be a very very chatty vlog oh my gosh this feels i actually woke up early because i need to go study in a little bit I don't know what I'm doing prioritizing YouTube over something else, but then again, who is surprised? It really helps out my face so much. If you like cool your face and then you apply makeup, like it's supposed to make your base or something like that, like super flawless. I guess we're gonna test it out. I don't understand when a girl wears like makeup, right? Let's just say a lot of makeup. They're like, oh, you're a catfish, you're a catfish. Like, ah. you want me to buy makeup. You want me to spend money on it. And you want me to look the same, the exact same. I, I don't. I I just don't get it. I really don't get it. I love wearing makeup. I feel like it's just such a creative outlet for so many people. 5 a.m. Get ready with me to be productive. I'm so tired. Okay. I'm gonna do a face mask. This is by the brand Loops. Basically, they're a detoxifying one. It's a hydrogel face mask. Detoxify, cleanse, hydrate, and soothe. I love this face mask. I love it so much. I cannot explain to you. You know what? This would feel really cooling if I like left it in the fridge. I'm gonna look like PJ Masks for like 10 minutes. Before we do our full face, we are going to need to do our skincare. I figured we might as well just bust out this face mask. It is giving. It's giving Catwoman. My cat is next to me on my side. Like, girl, I fed you. It's five in the morning. I'm sorry. That made me seem like a bad cat mom. We're going to put this. <gasps> Honey, what are you doing? You're going to get a cat. Being a cat mom is not for the weak, especially if you have a girl. Why did I eat? This looks so gorge. Leaving this on for 10 minutes. This is the one time I feel decent and pretty in a face mask. Guys, that felt amazing. First step two, everybody's makeup routine is skincare. You have to prep your skin. Your skin has to be ready to have makeup, whether it's light makeup, you know, you know. You cannot just go out there with makeup and no skincare. That's how you are going to break out. I'm going to share with you guys my skincare routine. For my besties that already watch my channel, you guys already know what my skincare routine is, but this is for my bestie boos who are new to my channel and who are going to subscribe. If you haven't, then what are you doing? If you give a thumbs up on this video, I'd really appreciate it. Low recipe toner. Honestly, Say this is just supposed to minimize your pores but to me i feel like it really ends up just clearing my skin i don't know whenever i put this on and then i apply makeup i feel like i'm just so smooth my face is smooth i really like this as a toner i know there is definitely more cheaper alternatives which you can obviously try out to each their own but i really love this skincare brand for such a long time i was trying to find something that fit me and i wanted what everybody else had and i know glow recipe is popular like on the skincare world glow recipe is like not number one like when i think of skincare i do not think of glow recipe i don't know where i'm going with this i really it's toner okay just it's toner after that i go in with this neocinamide me me i cinamide not neocinamide me i cinamide dew drops this is for the ultimate glow and it also brightens up your skin i believe it really does help with um hyperpigmentation or just weird discoloration on your skin because every single time i use this i swear my skin all just one balanced undertone you get green over here super red over here like you know what i'm talking about anyways so yeah that's my skincare sorry i went on a whole rant i didn't not mean to do that. I think I saw somewhere where if you have rosacea on your face, icing your face before your makeup, I don't have rosacea, so I personally do not know. Double Repair Face Moisturizer and it has SPF 30. It's from La Roche Posay. It's my favorite. It's so good. Amazing! I just hate applying moisturizer when I'm about to do a full face. Is anybody else like this? Because why do I have to apply moisturizer? I feel like my makeup is just going to melt off. It just really helps grip my makeup. So it's like, I don't know what's the right answer, what's the wrong answer. Goal before I put on my makeup is to look as glowy as possible. I actually really am energized. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Okay, now that we got skincare, we are going to do one more thing before our makeup. I'm going to use these e.l.f. bronzing drops. I got these yesterday in a vlog and then I also filmed a YouTube short with them but not that you care that's literally <laughs> besides the point but i actually really like these these are supposed to tone down your face and a lot of people are saying that it's a dupe for the drunk elephant bronzing drop so basically you just moisturizer a few pumps of that and then you're gonna add one to three drops depending how bronze you want your face just put two drops because we are going to put on actual makeup i love that it's just easily really just blendable i don't know i love it this is a 10 out of 10 product for me i wanted to try these forever and it just makes me feel and look more 
better and since it's been just so gloomy outside where i live i haven't had time to like go out and just sit in the sun and get a tan i like to drag it to the middle of my neck i don't like to drag it to the end because yesterday i dragged it to the end of my neck and then it left like a permanent stain there well not permanent but it just left a stain there and i was like ew people actually say it's really good to use this under your makeup so we're gonna test it out today and see if we can really see the radiance the shine the glow i don't know what to talk about it's like five in the morning okay like i really just don't what am i even supposed to be talking about i don't even know why i wanted to film this video i would say i'm definitely like a morning person so i feel like that's why it's so easy for me to be like okay hey guys welcome to my channel love how it doesn't look patchy even after a few hours i went to a whole workout and i still had this on yesterday literally only one person asked for my makeup routine but you know what it's okay thanks i got you halo glow liquid filter i add like random dots throughout my face and then i just blend it out this is just amazing this is not a foundation but i've said this many times i do use this as my foundation i feel like this is like the perfect foundation okay so i think that is more than enough oh my god guys i'm probably so dumb i didn't think of the fact that since i added the bronzing drops and then now i'm adding this color and i haven't been outside in literal days i'm going to look so orange i'm so sorry guys i promise you these are my shades it might just match up perfectly with my neck or my neck might be a little bit lighter i'm using my real techniques brush once i got a brush i never went back to a beauty blender like i do use my beauty blender but not to blend out any foundation I just feel like this is just so much more practical and faster like look at that already it's already blending in obviously i feel like the number one important thing you have to know when you're doing makeup is you have to prep your skin if you don't your makeup is not going to glide easily <gasps> i forgot to put on primer oh my God. i'm about to cry i have a mental breakdown I'm a, I, uh, <laughs> the one that i was going to use today is this elf jelly pop dew primer this is amazing like i don't care what anybody has to say about this product all i know is that better be good reviews because this product is genuinely so amazing excuse me while i have a silent mental breakdown because me not putting primer is like criminal like how my ears are like so white compared to like my face like hello miss amethyst are you sure you got the right shade probably didn't if i'm being honest no i feel like the sun is going to rise soon and i really want to finish this makeup before it completely finishes like rising why does the sun rise so fast i don't get it I I don't understand it's not in my comprehension i'm not really here for it I look like a freaking oily pig i just want to say guys thank you so much for hitting a hundred thousand subscribers this is me being so delusional the way that i already accepted it that the universe is giving me a hundred thousand subscribers and they are on my way to me right now i'm just gonna be you know thankful have i in reality hit a hundred thousand subscribers no i haven't but it's all about your mental thoughts it's all about being present and being like thank you for this blessing and even though i haven't received it yet with the chances that are super high of me receiving it which i will i'm already being very grateful i don't even know what i'm doing i feel like i look super or i i just feel like i look really orange right now and i actually do see a difference with the glow drops i'm liking how this is turning out i was going to be so aesthetic i had everything planned out but no i'm barely putting on my clips right now i'm really planning on being like unfiltered in this vlog this is the true me if you really want to see more of the true me tell me and let me know in the comments because i always like delegate towards being aesthetic being productive and i love doing that don't get me wrong but there's like a different breed of realness versus aesthetic and i want to be both i am both like i really am there's sometimes where i can be on top of my grind and i can be like i'm a her she is me but then there's other times where i'm like no <laughs> it's like who is it? like no, no no expert concealer brush this one is okay i mean i really do like how it blends out it just does take a long time obviously because it's a smaller brush and it's usually used for your inner corner do you know what i mean that feeling when the sun is just rising like why why can't it stay dark i've been meaning to film this video like five times this week and every single one of those times i swear I just don't hear my alarm or either i just like snooze it and i'm like girl like you're really just pathetic i literally told myself i'm like i'm this. like you want this done you're gonna get it done I give myself two options i was basically okay you wake up tomorrow and you do it or you never do it again like you never do it period and i know that's like a little <laughs> extreme but that's like the only way that i will actually get myself to do these things because trust me girl i do not want to be productive every single day of my life i really don't there's balance like yes i am productive but guys i need you to know i am not like this all the time not like this i'm not productive right now but i'm not productive in general all the time life has to have pros and cons in order for it to balance out it depends what you do with those pros and cons say good morning to my kitties add a little bit more concealer because i feel like that did not do nothing going with my beauty blender because i'm just like i don't have time to deal with small tiny brushes right now i really don't you guys i low-key want to buy like pink setting powder if any are spun 
mousse face powder i really don't have that much makeup let's just say i buy something like ulta sephora i always feel so bad i don't know why does anybody else feel like that and i don't even be having that much makeup but then i'm like amethyst you have to snap back into reality like the people that have millions of makeup they get it for free and you don't you're spending your hard-earned money on it so it's like that's why i'm so cautious whenever i go to the store and i'm actually going to buy something because i'm like wait i need my daily dose of alicia marie i love alicia marie so much i want to go to los angeles like i know i talk about it in every single vlog i really just want to go like on a little solo trip whether it's like by myself or with my boyfriend in order for me to know if los angeles is the place for me i need to go there and i need to witness it for myself because i have gone there but i was with my family i when you want to move somewhere and obviously you're not gonna do it right now but knowing someday that you that is so good alani sponsor me hey when i'm doing my makeup and it just gets so itchy like i do like that there is still a little radiance peeking out through my skin but overall it's looking good and i really like it i'm probably looking 50 shades lighter than i'm supposed to look we're gonna go ahead and do blush next i'm using this elf liquid blush i'm just gonna put like a few dots and i know it looks like a clown i look ridiculous but basically i'm gonna go to a coffee shop and just study i'm not gonna film it kind of like an intimate by myself thing and just like a one-on-one -on -one time with myself so i can really focus now that i look absolutely crazy i'm going to go in with my concealer again and i'm gonna just put it right here kind of on the meeting line where the blush and the concealer is and then we are just going to blend that in we're gonna go upper first and then we're going to lightly blend it in because we don't really want to get any pink on the underneath of it i want to give you guys my random tips on motivation i know i talk about this subject so much it's just because i really just want you guys to succeed and i know somebody out there is lacking discipline and motivation in general so i really just want to be the person to uplift you but if you're struggling with anything in particular whether it's financial situations mental situations it's okay but it's not okay to not do anything about it the moment that you feel like you're giving up and then you just let it happen that's the moment where it's not okay so obviously just listen to your body listen to god don't let these circumstances or these problems in your life dictate and determine who you are as a person let's just say for example if your mom has really bad like mood swings or something and she has a really bad temper and everything and then somebody tells you like hey, why is your temper so bad why are you acting like this and then you're like don't blame me blame my mom like she made me this way and that's the point where it's like what are what do you mean? I understand that people go through things and people have different trauma, obviously. But if you are just constantly nitpicking that somebody else made you this way and you're blaming somebody else for the way that you are when you are fully adult, when you are fully capable of comprehending what's right and what's wrong, you don't need to be a literal toddler to understand that just because somebody did something to you or just because somebody acted a certain way to you, whether it was a family member, friend, that doesn't mean that you have to act the same way. That doesn't mean that you have to treat other people the same way for no reason because life isn't fair to all of us to most of us there's just so much like mentally that goes behind the scenes of my videos vlogging is my escape for everything so when you guys ask me like how are you so consistent like this is my only escape this is the only way that i can truly feel happy this is why i do it so much and i'm not saying anything at home is wrong or anything but i'm just saying we all have our little battles that we go through so somebody else's way of coping may be just being in bed maybe just resting but for me i have to do something about it i have to take charge and be like no this is not going to determine me or my future i need to look past this and i need to see the brighter days that are coming because if you always just focus on the negative and everything in life that's all you are going to receive as long as you are alive as long as you are breathing life is good greatest blessing is to be alive in this moment right now is to be able to say like i am breathing like no matter what you've gone through i can take a breath of fresh air i didn't mean to get all deep and personal with that i'm really sorry but i actually you know what no i did mean to get deep and personal because you have to see the real blessings in disguise that you have i low-key feel like i don't need contour i'm just gonna put a little bit where the blush is but using this halo glow beauty wand different to call myself an influencer rather much say like i helped you i helped you change your mindset as long as i helped you with something i feel just 
so complete and that's the real reason why I keep on doing this is because you guys are so amazing but you need to realize that you're amazing you need to see that you're amazing and I can do as much as just telling you like you're amazing go get up and go do this go chase your dreams go chase what you are after it doesn't matter it's never too late by me telling you this this is already your sign from God that you have to like if you're looking for a sign I'm the one telling you you need to get up and do something about the situation that you're in one day at a time it's just one day at a time you have to get one percent better every single day every single day you were closer to reaching your goals I wouldn't want to play with my future now I don't know if you want to play with yours if you don't do it now you're gonna regret it and I regret every single day that I let other people's opinions go into my head other than my own the only person that matters to me feeling wise like mental wise is myself I regret that I would never put myself before so that's why I'm so big on putting myself first now I never used to be like this I used to always put everybody above me I used to focus on everybody's mental health but mine how do you even do that that's not even the way to live that's not even the right thing to do I'm putting on a little bit of blush Oh my god, I look like Rudolph right now. I actually really like how this looks, even though I put a minimal amount of bronzer on the side. Mascara, lip combo, and then highlight. My friend Hennel that I went to high school with, she texted me last night and she was like, I saw your vlog, I just wanted to say good luck on your day. Do you ever have that one friend that you're just like not close with, but like they've always supported you since day one? Like they've always been so nice. Like if I could think of the nicest person ever, it's literally her. Like she is just so, she's an amazing person. I love her. If her whole family is nice, like her brother her sister we had like majority classes together and there would be sometimes where i would look up and she's just watching my videos she was such like a big supporter and she always tried her best to like include me in things i'm definitely like more of an anti-social person which is kind of weird because like how are you gonna be anti-social when you're a youtuber she would try her best to like include me in things and i just really appreciate her that's like a random act of kindness that never goes unnoticed is like people appreciating me i love you if you're watching curling my eyelashes and this kylash lash mascara by kylie I'm gonna be honest, I really don't like putting on mascara, but then I really don't like putting on eyelashes. First of all, I can't put on eyelashes. Second of all, no matter how small they are, they just irritate me. Like, they irritate me no matter what. And do you guys have that one eye that just has perfect eyelashes? I feel like this eye is gorgeous, and then this eye is like, ew. I like using different mascaras, and then I'm using this For Real Mascara. This is by Babe Lash. I really do like the length that it does give me, though. The only setting spray I have, it's Morphe SPF 50 sunsetter setting spray i mean it works really good i do like that it's also kind of like a sunscreen it's like protecting my skin i'm using this kimchi highlighter i don't even know if like they're still selling these i got this in quarantine babe quarantine and i'm telling you i use highlight in almost every single one of like my makeup looks amazing brand love their products loose setting powder i believe they have a pink one and then a white one last step before setting spray is to do my lip i'm just gonna line them and i usually put like a gloss in the center use this cream glide lip liner i have to be careful with it and it's honestly super pigmented don't like to do is i don't like to overwind my lips <gasps> no and i just did it i mean i guess a little never hurt Add some pink pigment it looks decent this the makeup is low-key like makeuping i like it i really do last step is setting spray it got in my eye it got in my eye <laughs> Oh, I didn't I closed my eyes did I just mess it up guys I think I just messed up my makeup I don't think I let my mascara dry for long enough but it's okay is this a dewy one or that is it for my updated makeup routine did kind of like a full face not really well kind of I really do like how this makeup look turned out with that said thank you guys so much for watching this video if you made it to the end of the video comment down below the lipstick emoji don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below I will see you in my next video bye